thing. Caught up and wrapped up in you, Lord God. We don't want to be caught up and wrapped up in anything else, Lord God. We want to give you our 
I know the undivided attention, Lord God. So God, I enter in and have your way, Lord God. As we make more room for you, Lord God, we're not going to hold on to these things, Lord God. We're not going to allow these things to cloud our with judgment, Father God. We're not going to allow these things to come in and fester in our hearts, Lord God, and cause our hearts to be hardened and closed, Lord God. Oh God, we're going to empty all these things out, God, because we don't want our minds, Father God, to be focused, Lord God. We we want to have the right way of thinking, Father God. Have the right way of perspective of thing, Lord God. Oh God, we want to allow all these things, Father God, to be emptied out, Lord God. That we're not cluttered up, Lord God. That those things that are of you, Father God, have no room to grow, Lord God. So we give it all to you right now, God. Everything that we are carrying, Lord. We give it to you right now, Father God. Even those things that we don't know about, God. Lord, we give it all to you right now, God. Even those things that we care for somebody else, Lord God. Because these things that are going on with us, Father God, is nothing that we can do about, Lord. These things that are going on, Father God, are simply just things that we want to let go of, Father God. These things keep us in the place of captivity, Father God. These things keep us in the place of bondage and mental torment, Lord God. And we don't want to be there, Lord God. So, Lord, we need you to enter in a happy way, God. And make us right and make us over, Lord. Oh, God, we welcome you in right now, God. That you will make these things to be realigned the way they're supposed to be, God. That you can impute the right things on the inside of us, oh God. And that you can take out the things that's not like you, Lord God. Lord, instill in us, Father God, the right morals and characteristics, Father God. Because there's so many things, Father God, that have been and play it on the inside of us, God. There's so many things, oh God, that we have been allowed to be put inside of ourselves, God, that we wanted ourselves, Lord, and caused us to be in the place that you don't want us to be, Lord. But on this moment right now, God, we come before you today, Lord God, and we're asking God that you'll make us over, Lord God, that you'll rearrange, Lord God, and that you'll take away the bitterness, Lord God, take away the anger, God, take away the hatred, Lord God, take away the disturbance, Lord, take away the pride from this, God. Oh, Lord, take it all away, Father God, everything that's not like you, Lord God, because we want to be more like you, Lord. We desire to be pleasing in your sight, Lord, and we know, Father God, we cannot please you, Lord God. These things are all messed up on the inside of us, Lord, but we know, Father God, that we're we're not too messed up for you to make right, God. So we come before you, God, with our head and humble hearts, Lord God, in the midst of our brokenness, Lord God, in the midst of our imperfections, Lord God, that you can make us good and perfect, Father God, that you can put us back in our proper state, Lord God, the way that you made us at first, Lord God, when you first created us, Lord God, and you said everything that you made was good, Lord God. So make us open, Lord God, that we'll be good, Father God. That we'll love out of a pure heart, Lord God. That we'll have respect for us, Lord God. That we'll not be arguing, Father God. But we'll be slow to speak and quick to hear, hear, Lord God. Oh God, touch us right now, Father God. Those things that cause us to be in the state that you don't want us to be in, Lord God. Lord, recreate us, Lord God. That we can be the new creatures that you have called for us to be, Father God. Lord, you engrafted us into your king, Lord God. And you called us to be set apart, Father God. So once today, Father God, help us, Lord God, to be the way that you created for us to be, Father God. And not conform to this world, Lord God. And not be self willed Lord. Oh God, touch us on today, Father. For the problem of our heads and souls of our feet, Father God. Because we want to be better, Father God. We don't want to be that we used to be, Lord God. Oh God, touch your people on today, Lord. Because we need you, Lord. We need you, Father God, in more ways than one, Father God. All of us, Lord God. Not one of us are exempt, Father God. None of us have reached that place of perfection. Because if we did, we would not be here, Lord. So we're standing here to you right now, God. Our hearts are open to you, God. Our hearts are crying out to you, Lord God, because we are broken and we are messed up and we are damaged, Lord God. But we know, Father God, that you can fix us, Lord. We know, Father God, that you can heal us, Lord God. We know, Father God, that you can move that thorn from our flesh, God. Lord, we know, Father God, that you can do all things, God. And we need you to do it, Father God. Because if you don't do it, Lord, it just won't be done, Father God. If you don't do it for us, Lord God, we'll still be in this place, Lord God. So we come before you willingly, Lord God. And we're not going to be in the tug of war, Father God. We're not going to fight up against you, Lord God. But we're going to allow you, Father God, to be the power that will be your molding clay, God. Mold us how you need to be molded, God. Shape us how you need to shape us, oh God. Whatever it is, Lord, that needs to be done, God, we give you permission to do it, Father God. Because we don't want to be the way that we used to be, God. We don't want to return back, Father God, to the state of mind that you freed us from, Lord. Oh God, help us on tonight, Lord God. And we can continue to stay in that pure state, Father God. That true form, Lord God. Lord, touch us right now, Father God. Touch us right now, Lord God. In the depths of our hearts and pierces of our soul, Father God. And remove all those things, Lord God, that cause us to be the way that you don't want us to be, God. Oh God, take your people to the marvelous land on tonight, Father God. Take them away from the darkness, Lord God. Let their feet, Father God, go down the path that you want them to go on, Lord God. Redirect your people on tonight, Father God. Call your people back, Father God, to their proper places and positions to you, Father God. Because some of your people have turned away, Father God. And some of your people have lost their way, God. But let them be humble, Father God, to come before you, Lord God, and to be, commit to you in all their ways, Lord God, and give you their yes and 
give you that yes will, oh God. Oh God, let them make a choice on today, Father God. Let them choose, oh God, whether it's going to be hot or cold and not be lukewarm, Lord. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God. That they will be true to themselves, God. That they can be true to you, oh God. Oh God, help us on today, Father God. Because you don't want us any other way, oh God. So right now, Father God, give your people the heart and mind to ponder and consider and reflect, Father God, over their ways and their actions, oh God. And they will take accountability for the things that they have done, Father God. They'll not point the finger and wag their head, Lord. Oh God, touch your people on tonight, Father God. If by chance they have an argument with their brother and sister, Lord God, they will go and get that thing right, Father God. And they will forgive one another, Lord God. And they will pray together, Lord God. They may be healed and reconciled, Lord God. Oh Lord, touch your people on tonight, Father God. All those across the nation, Lord God. Lord, touch the relationships, Lord God. Those co parents on tonight, Lord God. Oh God, touch them on tonight, Father God. Those who can't seem to come to a compromise and agreement, Lord. Oh God, I ask that you would touch them on tonight, Father God. They will consider their ways and their actions, Lord God. And they'll be more concerned about the children, Lord God. And they'll do what was healthy, Father God. Not just for them, Father God, but for the children as well, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking that you again to read and insert yourself into the situation, Lord God. Not just in the co-parent relationships, Father God, but even in the families, Lord God. So much division, Father God. So much separation, Lord God. So much hate, God. So much unforgiveness, Father God. So much grudging and revenge, Lord. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God. Where sisters will be best friends, Lord God. Lord, touch your people on tonight, Father God. That the brothers will be best friends, God. Lord, touch your people on tonight, Father God. Where all the relationships with God will be with the style, Father God, and restore, Lord God. And they want a unison, Lord God. The way that you have called designed for us to be. Because you are family oriented, Lord. You are unison, God. You are God of love, Father God. And peace, Lord God. So, Lord, instill these things inside of your people, Lord God. Let your people acquire these characteristics, Lord God. And they will be the way that you have called them to be, Father God. And that we can come together in unison, Lord God. Not just in our biological families, Lord God. But in our families in the church, Lord God. And make a family, Father God, across this world, Father God. Because we all, Father God, bleed the same we are cut, Lord God. So, Lord, touch your people on today, Father God. Let them not turn down their nose, God, or up their noses at one another, Father God. When they cross paths with one another, when they walk down the street, Father God, thinking and believing that they're better than somebody when they are not, Father God. Lord, we never know what somebody is going through, Father God. So, let your people know, Father God, it won't hurt to just say hi, God. It won't hurt for them just to give a smile, Father God. It won't hurt for them just to give a hug, Lord God. Lord, touch your people on today, Father God, and remove all that ugliness. Lord God, all the hate from inside of their hearts, Lord God, that your love, Father God, will be returned back into this nation, Lord. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God. Touch your people on today, Father God. And they will not want to be so manipulative, Father God. They will not want to continue to try to deceive one another, Lord God. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God. And allow those spirits to be exposed, Lord God. And when they're called to the forefront, Lord God, let them, Father God, fight them off the right way, Father God. Oh Lord, touch your people on today, Father God. And let your word of truth go forth, Father God. And then you'll kill everything, Lord, that's not like you, Lord God. I plead the blood of Jesus over this nation, God. I plead the blood of Jesus over the minds of your people, Lord God. I plead the blood of Jesus, Father God, over the hearts of your people, Lord God, that we are loved the right way, God. Oh, Lord, continue to work on us, Lord God. Continue to heal us, Lord God, and return us back to our proper states, Lord God. Because we know, Father God, we're imperfect, Lord God. We're all messed up, Lord God, but we know, Father God, that you can make it all right, Lord God. That you can make it better, Lord God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you will touch each and every situation and circumstance, Lord God, that are on the hearts and the minds of your people, Lord God. You know exactly what they're going through, Father God. You know exactly what they need, Lord God. So even if they don't speak it out, Lord, I'm asking that you will hear their hearts cry, Father God. And when they do speak it out, Father God, let there be no hidden motives, God, no hidden agendas, God, no hidden intentions, Father God. Let it not come from a place of complaining, Father God, but simply them, Father God, confessing, Lord God, that they know that this thing is a struggle and a problem, Lord God, but they know that you can fix it, Lord God. Let them not allow that thing to be exalted higher than you, Lord God, because you are a bigger, Father God. You are all knowing, Lord God. You are all powerful, Father God. You are the one, Lord God, who sits on the throne in heaven using earth as your footstool, Lord God. Oh God, let your people know on tonight that you are a bigger, Lord God. And no matter what it looks like, Lord, no matter what it pertains to, Lord God, no matter what it feels like, Lord God, no matter what it seems to be, Lord God, it's not really, really is, Lord God. So help your people on today, Father God. See it through your perspective, Father God, and your way, Lord God. If by chance it's a lesson, Lord, if by chance it's a test, Father God, if by chance, Lord God, it's their season, Lord God, let them open up their hearts to receive it, Father God, and have a heart of acceptance, and have the right attitude towards that thing, Father God, not just outwardly, Father God, but inwardly, Lord God, because it's the heart that you look at, Father God, and sometimes these things come from out of our heart, Father God, and we want our hearts, Father God, to be postured rightly towards that thing, Father God, and even towards you, Lord, so God, touch us on tonight, Father God. Each and every one of us, Lord. Oh, God, I'm asking that you would touch most tonight, Father God. Even me, Lord God. Because I know that none of us are exempt, Father God. 
God. But we're all here trying to get it together, Father God. That we can be able to see your face, Father God. And that we'll be able to hear good and well done, my faithful servant, Lord. Oh God, touch us on tonight, Father God. That we may be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. Oh God, we're asking for your help on tonight, Father God. As we stand the gap and intercede for your people, Lord God. And we're asking for your help on tonight, Father God. For all those who cannot cry out for themselves, God. Lord we're asking for your help on tonight, Father God. For those who can't cry out for themselves, God, but they won't, Father God. For whatever reason, Lord, I'm asking that you would touch them right now, Lord God. And open up their hearts, God. And open up their minds, God. They'll be willing and obedient, Father God, to do what you tell them to do, Father God. And they won't fight up against you, Lord God. They won't be in the tug of war, Lord. Oh God, touch your people on tonight, Father God. That your people will go back and apologize for whomever they need to apologize for, Lord God. And get it right with whoever they need to get it right with, Father God. Because we never know the time of day or the hour, Father God. And we don't want it to be too late, Lord God. Even if your people just simply need to say, I love you to someone, Father God. Lord, let them say it, Father God. Let them not be prideful and stubborn, Lord. Oh God, they need to say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Lord God. Let them do it on tonight, Father God. Let them not feel like they need to be bigger than the other person, Father God, but simply do it so they can be free, Lord God. Oh God, help your people on tonight, God, to reach their place of freedom in you, Lord God. They will experience real freedom, Lord God. They will experience real joy on tonight, Father God. They experience real peace, Lord. Oh, God, I'm asking that you would touch, Lord God. Touch on tonight, Father God, those places and those spaces that we cannot see, Father God, that's hurting on the inside of our loved ones, Lord God. You know exactly how deep that pain runs, Lord God. You know exactly what it stems from, Lord God. So I'm asking that you'll uproot it on tonight, Father God, and that you will heal them, Lord, that you will deliver them, God, that they'll be set free, Father God, that the chains will be broken, Father God, that the cycles, Father God, will be removed, Father God, that the generational curses will be no no more, Lord. Oh, God, the message you will touch on tonight, Father God. And break every old time, every soul time, Father God. Every emotional time, every spiritual time, Lord. Oh, God, the message that you will touch on tonight, Father God. And separate those things from us that's not like you, Lord God. Because we don't want it anymore, Lord God. We want to be more like you, Lord. Oh, God, we're asking that you will touch, Lord God. Like only you can, Lord. We're asking that you will touch on tonight, Father God. Because we need your touch, Father. Because without it, Lord God, we don't know what to do, Father God. We don't know how to do or even when to do, Lord. So we're asking that you enter in right now, God. Meet us where we are, Father God. And Lord, we thank you for accepting us just the way that we are, Father God. We come before you, Lord God, naked, unafraid, and unashamed, Father God, as we open up and confess these things outwardly to you, Father God, that you may be able to help us to get free, Lord God. Oh God, we come before you on tonight, Father God, with no fear, no shame, and no embarrassment, Father God, because we know, Lord, that you are bigger, and that you do not give us a spirit of fear, Lord, but a power, love, and of sound, my God. Oh God, we come before you on tonight, God, and openly confess these things, oh God, because we're not going to allow ourselves to be in a place of bondage and mental captivity, Lord God. Oh God, we open up and we expose these things to send the device of the enemy, Lord God, because we know as long as we sit inside we give him all the power, God, that he don't even have, Father God. We give him all the room that he needs to come in and do what he wants to do, Father God. And we will not allow him to wreak havoc. So we let him know on today that he has no rights, no power, no authority over our lives. He has no rights, no power, no authority over anybody connected to us, Lord God. And we plead the blood of Jesus over everything that's connected to us, Father God. And even those things to come, Lord. Oh God, we bless you on tonight, God. We glorify you, Lord, and we praise you, God. Oh Lord, you are so worthy, God. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Worthy, Father God. And we lift you up and we exalt you on tonight, Father God. Oh Lord, we want to give you our best, Lord God, because you deserve it all, Lord God. You are worthy of it, Lord God, and that's the way that you created us to be, Father God. So give you all the bless, Lord God. And we give it to you willingly, Lord. Father God, not just out of obedience, Lord God, but because we want you to know, Father God, that you are our God, our King, and our everything, Lord God, that you are the one that we serve, God, that you are the only one that you live in, God, and we acknowledge you on tonight, God. Oh, God, you are He. You are the great I am, and you are greatly to be praised, Lord, and we just bless you on tonight, God. Oh, God, we glorify you, Lord. We magnify you, God. You are truly amazing to us, God, and you never leave us in awe, Father God. You are awesome in all your ways, Lord, and we bless you on tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Even in spite of what we're going through, Father God, we still lift up our hands, Lord God, because our praise and worship belongs to you anyway, God. And we're going to give it to you anyway, Father God, because we know that the enemy wants to be in silence, Lord God. He does not want us to praise and worship you, God. He wants us to stay in that place of feeling like we can't open our mouths, Lord God. But we're going to do it anyway, God. We're still going to praise, Father God. We're still going to give you the sound that you deserve, Lord God, because you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. 
worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Father God. And we are going to continue to fight this good fight, Lord God. Because we know, Father God, you already have wanted just for us, Lord God. Just need to continue to stand, Lord God. So Lord, I'm asking right now, Father God, that you are strengthening those, Lord God, who don't have the strength to stand, Father God. I'm asking right now, Father God, that you will help them to activate the power on this side, Lord God. And press just a little bit for them, Father God, so they can reach their breakthrough, Father God. So many of your people, Father God, are standing right there, Father God, and waiting for that door to open, Lord God. And all the enemy wants them to do is turn around and go back. All he wants to do, Father God, is think and believe that they cannot do it, Father God. But you are a God of can, not a God of can. You are a God of success, not a God of faith, Lord God. You are a God of can do, Lord God. So help your people on tonight, Father God, to transform their minds, Lord God. And they'll have the right way of thinking, Father God. And see from the right perspective, Father God. Oh Lord, I'm asking your people to continue to humble themselves on tonight, Father God. They will continue, Lord God, to have a heart of remorse and repentance, Father God. But anything they have done, Lord God, is not pleasing in your sight, Lord God. So right now, Father God, I ask that you please forgive us, Lord God. For anything you may have done, Lord God, that caused not to be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. And give us a heart of acceptance, Lord God, as you show us the error in our ways, Lord God. That we'll take accountability for our actions, Father God. That we, Father God, will say, yes, we did that, Lord, but please forgive us and help me, God, not to do it again, Lord God. Because we want to please you, Lord God. You are the only one, Father God, that we live to serve, Father God. And we want to make sure, Father God, that we do everything, Lord God, to make you smile, Lord. Oh, God, we bless you tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you. We bless you, God. Glory, hallelujah, we lift you up, God. Glory, hallelujah, we praise you, God. Oh, Lord, we just want to tell you thank you on tonight, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God. Oh, God, you are so worthy, Lord. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, God. And we just want to bless you on tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. And if we have not given you our yes before, God, we give you our yes on tonight, Father God. Because each and every day, God, it's a choice for us to surrender all. Each and every day, it's a choice for us to say yes, Lord. And on tonight, Father God, we give it to you again, Lord God. Because we really want to give it to you, Father God. Because you mean so much to us, Lord. And the least that we can do, Father God, is give you what's required of us, God. And live a life that's loyal and faithful to you, Lord God, just as you are to us, Lord God. Because we are not always consistent, Father God. We're not always loyal, Father God. We're not always faithful, Lord. But you are, Lord. So on tonight, Father God, we want to continue to put our best foot forward, Lord God. And give you, Father God, what's due unto you, God. Oh, Lord, we bless you, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Lord, you are amazing, God. You are awesome, God. You are truly wonderful, kind, Lord. And there's none other like you now laying on this earth, God. And we worship you, God. Oh, God, I ask on tonight, Lord oh God, that you continue to touch your people, Lord oh God. Those who may be in a place of struggle, Lord oh God, I'm asking that you open up their door, Father God. Lord, I'm asking on tonight that you'll touch your people, Lord oh God. Those who have sicknesses in their bodies, Lord oh God. Lord, you are the cure, Father God. You are the doctor, Lord. You have the final say, God. So meet them in their hospital rooms, oh God. And I ask that you will heal them, Lord God, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, Father God. And everything, Father God, is over discrepancy to you, Lord God, that you did not put in our bodies, Lord God. I ask that you will make it right, Father God. Only according to your will, Father God. Because I don't know your plan, Father God. And I don't know their journey, Lord God. But I do know, Lord, that you are a healer, Lord God. And you do have the final say, Lord. So God, I touch on tonight, Father God. All of our pregnant ladies, Lord God. All of those who are about to deliver a baby, Lord God. I'm asking on tonight, Father God, that you will make sure they have a safe and healthy pregnancy, Lord God. That the baby will be safe and the mom will be safe, Father God. I said, any spirit of depression, Father God. And postpartum on tonight, Father God. Lord, touch your women, Lord God. Let them know that you are. They are strong, Father God. And you created them to bring life into this world, Father God. And every spirit that may try to attack to them, Father God, in the midst of this labor and delivery, Lord God, I'm asking you to cover them in the blood of Jesus, Lord. Oh God, I'm asking right God, God, that you will touch the families, Lord God. And they will have the family system that they need, Father God, to be able to take care of that new baby on stay, Father God. They will not be in the place of stress, Lord God. They will not be in the place of anger or sadness, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking you to touch right now, Lord, in a mighty way, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now, Lord, that you will touch those who have lost a loved one, Father God. And they're still in a place of grieving, Lord God. As everybody has gone on about their way, Lord God, they're still in that place of trying to get it together, Lord God. But I'm asking right now, God, that you will be their comfort, Lord. I'm asking right now, God, that you'll be their peace, God. I'm asking right now, God, that you'll be their strength, Lord God. And wrap them in your arms and follow them, Lord God. Oh Lord, touch those on tonight, Father God, who have been lost in love one, Father God. But they still have those moments in time, Father God, where it hits them out of nowhere, Lord God. And they burst into tears, God. But I'm asking God every tear they drop, Lord, that you will turn it into joy and laughter, Father God. And then remember the good times, Lord. 
And Lord, thank you for the time that you allowed me to spend, Father God. Because you're the only one, Father God, who knows the day, the time, and the hour, Father God. And if by chance they are not here anymore, Father God, then their time was done, Lord God. Oh Lord, we want to tell you thank you once tonight, God, for the loved ones that you allowed to be in our lives, oh God. And that are no longer here, God. We thank you for the memories, Lord. We want to tell you thank you once tonight, God, for all the loved ones that we still have, Father God. And we will cherish the time that we have with them, Father God. And that we won't misuse it, Father God. We won't take it for granted, Lord God. Oh God, touch your people on tonight, God. And bring them into unison, Father God. Because you are a family oriented God, Father God. And we want to be as one, Lord. Oh God, we just want to bless you tonight. My God, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord. Oh God, continue to meet us here in this sanctuary, Father God. Oh God, ask you to saturate the atmosphere, Father God. Touch it from the rooftop, Father God, to the foundation, Lord. From the front door to the back and meet us here, Lord God. Lord, I'm going to ask that you would touch every prayer on the prayer wall, Father God. And every prayer on the altar, the altar box, Lord God. Not just in this sanctuary, Father God, but all across this nation, Lord. And consider every prayer, Lord God. And ask it, Father God, according to your will, your purpose, and your time, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we bless you, Father God. And I'm asking that you would hear all these prayers, God. Spoken and unspoken, Lord God. And I'm asking, Lord God, according to your will and your time, Lord, let your will be done within our lives, Lord. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen.